Hey there, welcome back to the final part of this week's episode of Leading Our Own Way. I hope you found inspiration in our guest journey this week. Today, we'll leave you with some key takeaways and actionable insights that you can lean on. Now let's wrap up with some powerful lessons that can help guide you on your own path. Don't forget to tune in for a brand new guest next week on Monday. But for now, enjoy this week's. Please subscribe to the channel if you don't already as well. Have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Um, Talking about your connection with some of the women, there's another special person that you get a little bit upset about, and it, I got it from your video. Um, Natalie and her note, and I know you've got it there. <laughs> Put Natalie and her note into context for the, for the okay. viewers. So Carrie... My beloved, who's still super, super close. I mean, literally, we just texted today. Mm -hmm. um, little Stinker is in Italy right now on vacation, by the way. Very she cool. is a chief marketing officer and just one of the best human beings on the planet, with, without a doubt. So, Care has three beautiful daughters. Michelle's the oldest, Natalie's the middle, and Lauren is the youngest. And so, I became super, super close, bonded, very, very, very integrated in all the years and still close to all the girls now. So there was a time when Care and I were together that I was really depressed. Yeah. Uh, and, the, and the girls knew my, my circumstance. And so I came to my car one day when I was depressed and there was this note. It looks laminated. I, well, I did laminate it. It wasn't laminated originally, but I laminate because I, 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 I carry, I, I tell the story everywhere yeah. I go. Amazing. So it's part so, of your speeches. It is. And so, it, yeah, important point. Uh, Natalie was the first of the three daughters that I met. And I'll never forget, I came up and I said, Hi, I'm David. And she says, Hi, I'm Natalie. I'm mom's best option. <laughs> <laughs> Straight away, she's got a personality, hasn't oh my she? Oh, God, she does. So I, from that moment on, she's always been both to me. So best option. She says, best David, option. David, I love you so much more than I could possibly ever show you. I truly can't imagine our family without you. I lately have felt sad because I don't know what I can do to help you. I don't understand depression. I don't feel like anyone really does. I have been researching to try and figure out what I can do to help. However, I haven't really found anything, so I thought I would just reach out and remind you that even though your depression may cause you to feel that you are not worthy, that that is the absolute farthest thing from the truth. You mean so much to all of us, and it really breaks my heart that this disease can cause you to feel that you are not the most amazing person in the world because you are. With that being said, I wanted to tell you that I think we can do this. We are a team, and I will do anything in my power to help you, not just now, but forever. I want you to know that should you feel like you can't share something with me because it will scare me, that that's not the truth, because I am ready to kick some serious depression ass. Yeah. And then she says, depression can't have you because you're ours. David, all that research she did to find out the answer for depression was a waste of time. She had the answer right there. She gave you everything she needed and you needed. And let me say one more story. Hmm. So, I do a lot of work with the Army. So, I was working with a, a battalion. A battalion's big, about five, 600 soldiers. And so, I'd been working with this battalion over the course of like three or four days. And a battalion is, is led by a colonel. So, in this case, it was Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Trout, incredible man. And over these days, we became really connected. And, and so here, Andy, the last day comes, and he says, David, come to my office. And I said, yes, sir, absolutely. And so I show up, and he said, David, 
I cannot thank you enough for everything that you have done for our soldiers and everything that you've taught me. He said, David, I said, David, I got to tell you, I am so angry. And so Andy, I'm like, oh, God, what, what did I do wrong? And he says, David, I'm not mad at you. Okay, sir. And he says, David, what happened to you in the Boy Scouts, I can't, pro- I, I can't process it. I can't accept it. I can't deal with that. So, David, I was an Eagle Scout. An Eagle Scout, there's nothing higher. An, e- an Eagle Scout is there's, it's a, who I am as a colonel, as a father, as a dad, as a husband, as a man. I learned in the Boy Scouts. I learned as an Eagle Scout. And what happened to you? I can't accept that. I was like, wow. So then he takes his hand, takes his hand, pulls out his wallet. And he pulls out this card, what's it, like a credit card. And I'm like totally confused. And he said, David, when you become an Eagle Scout, you get one of these. And he turns it around and it says, it's a credit card again, it says Eagle Scout. And so you can look on this, it says, has my name, and it says November 3rd, 1998. This is the day that I, I became an Eagle Scout. I will never forget that day. You, you talk to any Eagle Scout, David, they, they have their car. And then he gave me the car. And I looked at it, and I was like, wow. And I said, sir, that's, that's pretty amazing. And Andy, I go to give the card back. And he says... No, you keep it. You've earned it. Oh. And David's showing that card right now for those who are not watching it. He he's showing his amazing. I gold. have his Is it... car. Oh, are you still in touch with him? Yes, I text him all the time. I say, sir, you have no idea. And I can't tell you how many times I've done a speech and an Eagle Scout will come up and they'll show me their card. And they'll say, he gave you his card? I said, I have it. Do you put that, do you put that as part of the speech as well? Do you? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, wow. And I think, and, and, and I put it as part of the speech to remind people there are, like he gave me part of himself. Seen, this, Andy, this is prevention right here. This, mm-hmm. this is prevention. That's what it is. It's in our hands. We have it. So yeah, it's uh, you just you, you do it to remind other people, but I want you to do this to remind yourself. No, so you so you don't go into what you went through in the last eight months again. Right. No, you no, and I, it, and my, you know, my beloved, my dad, you, I, yeah, it's uh, I you've it's, touched the hearts of hundreds and tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of people around the world. I, uh, before we do come to the close, but I, I, there's a few other things I want to show you. Uh, show the I've got a few pictures of you, as you know, but uh, um, one you're doing your speech. There's a couple behind me that people might be able to see on my studio that I've got of you doing your speeches, one of your many hundreds of spe- <laughs> talks that you've done around the world. But this one in particular is amazing as well. Could you talk to us a little bit about this? Oh, uh, yeah, that was on Fox 40 News. That was really cool. Because I haven't done, I, you know, it's inch, I've done very, like, I mean, one or two video or uh, TV things. Mm-hmm. What, why did they ask you to go on? What in particular was their goal? It was, I, I think, and this, that was done several, several years ago. I think it, it that what news outlets and media outlets are, are trying to do, and I applaud them for this, is to have people speak openly about, you know, not just about what can we do in response, and I th- which I think is important, but I think it's, it, it might even be more important to understand what people are going through where, to, where to, that got them to that point. I think we, have, we don't talk about that. 
Like, so yeah. that's the first part of my speech. I don't, I don't talk about this until the end. Colonel Trous doesn't come up until the end. Aunt Natalie Bow does not come up until the end. Like, you're going to have to sit through the hard part first. I just hang with me because it ends really, really good. But yeah. Well, so you you talk heavily about connection, correct? Yes. What do what do you could you define? I know we've touched on it before with you know things like um, seen, heard, and valued, which leads to hope. But could you talk to us? What do you think the definition of connection is? Because you, I know I've heard you go on to in, into a little bit of depth about it. But what's the art of connection for you? I th- I think it's really this. And, and you're an you you are an expert at this. It's about well, being it's about being present. Yeah. I, so I would really think that's that's even, you know, that's the 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 part before seeing heard and valued. You're you can't you you're Do not that, gonna. Yeah. You, and all the times that I've been blessed to be with you, I've never got a chance, a sense of of you being anywhere else but right here. Like I, I've, you know what I've worked really hard on being present i wasn't present i wasn't i don't believe i was a good dad or a good partner i didn't yeah i i wasn't present and i'm still still work on it and i still dip i find out on days where maybe i've not done my cold water exposure i've not gone into the sun in the morning and you know done a walk or i've not done a few different things that i would do or i've eaten some shit the night before i do find that i'm not as present, you know, yeah, um, right. I have a, a bit of a back problem called ankylosing spondylitis and an autoimmune issue. And, and it flares up. They said, they said I would have it forever. Uh, uh, but you know, the more research I've gone into with human biology, I've realized, well, I've actually reversed the pain. Uh, and, and, but does it come back? Yes, it, it does. And I've noticed it comes back with anything that I eat that's inflammatory, you know, sugar or ultra processed foods. Um, and it goes on the days that I don't. And I now look at it as alcohol in a way. If I'm prepared to eat it on a movie night, then I need to be prepared that I'm going to lose a little bit the next morning in, in bed with pain. Because, uh, you know, I didn't sleep for nine years because of the pain in my back. But it all connects with, you know, whether it's depression or whether it's um, chronic stress or the trauma of going through, you know, what my journey was. Um, I found, I feel like I found some answers. But going back to being present, I definitely don't, I, I, it's very kind what you say, but I don't feel like I'm an expert. I'm constantly learning the art of being present, I suppose. Um, but I, what I do know is I feel like I've found some solutions to being more present. And on the days that I'm not, I can relate and reflect on what I've not done, what I've done well on before to get the answer of being present, if that makes sense. No, it does. It makes perfect. Yeah. No, it is. It's all. It is. It's all a journey. But I, I'm just saying, my experience of you, that's what. In answer to the question about connection, is it's about yeah. being present. I, you can't be, can't have the experience or create the experience of the connection without being present. Correct. Yeah. yeah. I, I, to be honest, I've not looked at it like before, but you're absolutely right. You 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 can't bring because I want to use that as a as a guest gem of yours about being seen, heard, valued, leading to hope. Um, but you're right. Presence does come before all of that. Of course, yeah. it does. And then co- connection comes after that, doesn't it? So there's layers to to the con- achieving connection, right? Yeah. No, absolutely. Okay. So coming towards the end, then there's a few ways I tend to end the the conversation. Um, but before we do go to to the direct end, um, is if there's any is there anything that we think that you think sorry that we've missed from our conversation that you think should be told? before we go i will just give mention that you know again my my the foundation for me is connection creates hope we know connection seen heard value hope the feeling that what is wanted can be had so mm-hmm. the question becomes how do you create connection and and i i teach three things recognition understanding and expression so we talked about expression the expression I want was to write that down. could you say that again i want to write sure. that down so recognition mm-hmm understanding and expression you can do and these, expression and you can do these anytime any place anywhere so here are the three it's just to break them down so with recognition i implore people teach people become great at remembering people's names do that 
Mm. Just I say that to my son all the time. Just do that. It's, mm. So that's that's recognition. And there's stories and stuff that I go into, but we don't need to. Then with understanding, what what I would like our audience, your audience, and my our audience, is when you when you see something that we don't understand, which happens every day, for the rest of our lives, never ask a why question. Make it a what question. Mm-hmm. So you see somebody acting in a way that makes no sense. And instead of saying, why are you doing that? Say, hey, what inspired you to do that? Totally different question. Yeah. Totally. There's no, there's no, there's no attack. There's no defense. There's nothing. A what question mm. is so powerful. You can literally, literally, we can live the rest of our lives and never ask why again. Never. Change it to yeah. what. Just use what. And then expression. Well, they know I love them. Tell them again. You know. Say that again. Sorry. So you know people. With when I when I talk about we express yourself to people, and they'll say, "Well, no, they know I love them." And I say, "Tell them again." Oh yeah, I agree. Tell yeah. them again. So I had a, a, a friend of mine. Uh, his mom called me and said, "Levi's really in a bad place. Can you talk to him?" I'm like, "Of course, it's lovely." So we talk and kind of shared what's going on, some stuff with work and, you know, stuff like that. And then, and this is something I learn and, and what I teach to people is people, people will ask me all the time. I said, well, I don't, I don't know how to help somebody. And I don't know what to do. And I said, you know what you do? Ask them. And so you said, I said, brother, what can I do to help you? What can I, and actually, I don't like the word help because help kind of means like they're to, I, I like the word support. Support for me is, I don't know, I like the word better. So I I, yeah. I said, hey, I said, Mom, I said, what can I do to support you? And he said, just stay in touch. I said, okay. So he's a texter. I'm a texter. You know, we text back and forth. And I tell him I love him and send kind of silly stuff sometimes and this and that. So this was this goes on for a while. And and, and sometimes I'll text and it may be two days before I hear something back, which is fine. I, you know, yeah. just want him to know I'm there. So probably about three weeks ago, he texts me and he said. Hey, just want to let you know. I feel like I've turned a corner. I'm doing. I'm doing. <laughs> I'm doing so much better. He said, "Thanks for reminding me who I am." Oh, oh, God. <laughs> I, oh what? I. Damn. I mean, just how amazed just to be part of that process. Just, just, I said, ugh. Mate, you, you don't see it, but you're a part of so many processes. It's insane, if I'm honest. You just don't, you just don't see it because those people you've spoken to have all gone back to their houses that night and they're all not communicating how you've inf- influenced them. Um, but I guarantee... No, it's way but, more than just one process or two or three or four or me, you know, your brother, these people that you, there's so many out there, mate. I just, mm, thank you, brother. Yeah. No, it's the truth. No sugarcoating well, this is the exact truth. So here, there is a quote. Mm-hmm. I got, I got a, a speech feedback thing, you know, reading through, Oh, great job. Everything. Oh, so much. Oh, very emotional. Great. Too many quotes. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, but that's just the way it is. So this really sums up ev- everything as it relates, really, I think, what we talked about tonight. And, and, and this is Dr. Drew Ramsey. He's a, he's a maniac on Instagram. Um, yeah. He's a psychiatrist. Um, he's an author. He's a professor at Columbia. He's a farmer. He's really big into brain-gut health, and he's incredible. Yeah. So here, here's I follow he, him on his podcast. Oh, God, yeah. He's amazing. He's, mm-hmm. he's extraordinary. So here, here's what he says. Someone you see today is thinking about killing themselves. Your smile, your question, your love could save them. Trust me, they told me it did. Yeah. I know. Man. Absolutely. Sent him like two messages on Instagram. I'm like, dude, 
Could we please talk on the phone, for God's sake? Has he ever con? Has no, he, ever got he back hasn't. To the devil, the I devil know. man. They never I do. I would. I know. I, but do. I would just like. And part of it, I probably would be. I'm so tongue tied in in awe, and I just love him. I would love to just talk. Just say, brother, you got to know what your work. I'm. I taking it. No, oh, anyway. Yeah. That's fine. So, all right. Well, two, um, if somebody was listening to this and they've been on a similar journey to you or are going through a similar or they know somebody, hmm. uh, I, you know, I lost a friend. I'd come, I'd come back from England last uh, February, January, 2023. And um, the guy that people will laugh, but a guy who used to cut my hair, um, you know, every three or four weeks, did we hang outside of that? No, but we'd have unbelievable chats whilst he would cut my hair and he cut my hair for, over a decade, his dad cut his hair, bef- my hair before him. I know people are laughing. I'm actually laughing inside my own head about cutting my hair. <laughs> but I had a great connection with my hairdresser. <laughs> and um, he, um, I reached out to him when I went home to say, oh, the shop's shut. You know, what's going on? Uh, I'm going to come and see you. have my hair cut like old times because I've been, I've been here in Australia for 12 years. And um, he said, yeah, you know, I'm, I've, I've shut the shop up. But since my dad had died and my dog had died and COVID really stressed me out, I've, I've just shut it and I'm not going to open it. Again, I'm I'm, live, I'm staying at my friend's place on the farm, and because he moved to stay with his friend and help with the farm. Anyway, I'd been back three days, and a friend reached out, and he'd committed suicide. Oh. Yeah, and um, part of me obviously regrets not forcing the meet up because I feel like I probably could have mm. given him that smile that you that you mentioned, or just a good chat could have prolonged it. Right? I don't know. Um, that entered my head occasionally, um, but he. People like him need people like you mm-hmm. as well as just me, but people like you. And I think people who going back to what I was point was people who are listening could be at the stage where Damien was at before he committed suicide. If you were going to give them some piece of advice right now, as a general perspective about think about yourself back before that day, going to the bridge, what piece of it, what would do you think the piece, best piece of, piece of advice would be for those people? Find find the find a person that you can share how you're feeling with, and but but set it up. So in other words, so you find you have this person, and just say, hey, I I want to share something pretty intense. I don't need any advice, and I'm not looking for any kind of feedback. But I, just if you would, would you just please listen to me? Set it up that way, and I think 99% of the time, you'll find that person. And what I would say is, is you will feel differently. I don't know exactly how you'll feel, but it will be different than you feel without sharing. And I think that that's the most immediate way to do it. And just, be again, be straight to say, hey, I have this to share. I appreciate it, but I don't need any feedback. Would you please just listen and allow me to share? And then share. Yeah, it's just being heard, isn't it? Um, exactly. I, I, I'm a talker, I, and my friends have come to me before, and I'm not going to lie, I have tried to give advice. <laughs> but the the deeper I've got into my journey, I've realized that power of holding space in a silent way, and I, I definitely try and just hear them out. Right? Yeah, and I think no. that's the pow- that was a powerful piece of advice, David, so I appreciate it. I'm going to give you a what question now to end. Okay. Um, just a one-liner. But, David, I think we all know the answer, but... If you could put it into one, one line, what is your purpose? To teach the world how to harness the power of connection. Beautiful. Perfect way to end. David, you've been a pleasure. Thank I'm you, so brother. glad you reached out to me. Um, when you popped, I was reading my email and you popped up and it, I was just had, to, we had to talk straight away and I feel like I've got a friend forever now, David. So I really appreciate you joining me on my journey, my friend. Absolutely. By the way, I love you. And um, yeah, you're stuck with me, man. Nah, the other way around. It's, it's a running joke. People, people, if people around me could contact you, they go, mate, you're definitely stuck with Andy. <laughs> <laughs> and they'd be like, you'll get sick of him after five minutes. I promise. <laughs> Uh, no, thank you, David, for joining uh, joining us on Leading Our Own Way. You, uh, I, I believe everyone's got a story and every story is worth hearing. So Amen. thank you for sharing yours. And um, uh, you're a, a, an inspiration 
And um, I think so many people can get so many personal strategies, philosophies from you. And please check David out on his on his social media platforms. I will put all the video links and websites into the show notes, if that's okay with you, David. Oh, please. Yes, please. And um, I- I- even the TED Talks as well. Um, and um, yeah, well, just qu- actually quickly, what's the future goal for you? Really is to, to expand my business. I really want to get into business. I haven't done mm-hmm. much in the, in the business space, so I really want to because there's so many people, Andy, who are in the, the typical, you know, not, I'm not talking about IBM and, you know, Hewlett Packard, but these, just these small to mid-level businesses and they're suffering terribly. And I want to teach, I want people to, to understand. Basically what I want to do is, is to better understand mental illness create pathways for mental health Mm. and then give them tools in their hand where they can literally go out and save lives. Love it. Brilliant. David, perfect way to end. Thank you for joining us again. And um, thank you, brother. Thank you. Stay on the line, but to everybody else that is um, listening, um, please come back for next week's guest. I really appreciate you guys returning to leading our own way every week. It's um, an awesome connection that I'm forming with all the viewers as well. So uh, please press subscribe and follow on all the platforms and join us on our journey next week. And we'll speak, see, uh, speak real soon. Have a great week, everyone. Thanks for listening and watching Leading Our Own Way. So we can stay together forever and share more incredible journeys, please subscribe to the channel. That way you won't miss next week's episode and what that amazing guest has to offer to the world. Please support Leading Our Own Way and we'll get you on next week's episode.